so we are back with another part of live online on the book of the part i bhoga ye no ko bola villain mila tha to chehra aur iska ek part bhi chhoda tha wo shayad tum log ko main villain hoga to dil karte hai bhai to argument chal raha tha jean aur lizzy ke sath coming soon from galacto records The sounds of guy in a hole. Right, here's the skinny. You're all gonna need some major firepower if you really plan to take on Garmantuous. What? More more than we already have? Uh, our team is mostly guns. Trust me, we need this. Clug sent over the details on an extremely powerful Gatlian. Oh shit, another Gatlian. That's right. Supposedly he's in the possession of another G3 officer, oh, a scientist named Dr. Dr. John Giblets. And guess what? I can't find shit on him. I don't even know where he is. Okay, so what do we do? We do it the old-fashioned way and ask around. Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Okay, Gene. All right. We'll, we'll we'll try to find him ourselves. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Hey there, bounty hunter. It's me, Sudo, again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big, crazy mysteries. Oh, sure. Give us detective mode now. This would have been useful earlier. All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Yeah. Got a problem with that? Oh, fantastic. Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately, and... No matches found. Oh, well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? So you're useless. Go figure. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Gene. Conduct a full investigation. Talk to Blimp. What do you mean? What do you mean you think it's funny? I, I, what, what's funny about that? Is it, I mean, it's, it's like a. Uh, uh, Hello. <laughs> Ah, our first suspect. We had to find out if they knew anything about Dr. Giblets, but they weren't going to make things easy for us, see? What are you talking about? Hey there, it's me, Sudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. Do I look nervous? <laughs> oh, jeez, you're making me nervous with this interrogation. What? Why do you care? Well, if you must know, I ate 15 whole sandwiches, and yes, I regret it. I don't know why I ate that many. I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is. But <laughs> good luck, I guess. Hope you find them. Am I... what? What is it with you and this Dr. Giblets guy? My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. Okay. Woof, they didn't know anything. That was a real D-rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next time. Hey, uh, hey tough guy, we're we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got you got any leads? Slick. What the fuck are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ, leave me alone. With your weird interrogation, awful, annoying. I wish you'd stop. I don't know, and I don't give a shit. I'm busy. You need anything else, or can I fucking go? Quick, the drug guys. No, I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life in the city. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the G3? What's my whole deal? Like, who am I? What do I do? Well, my name's Jackie T. Pooperton, and what I do is tell you to fuck off! Ooh, bummer, they were a tough cookie. But they were telling the truth according to my censors, so let's say that was a C-rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Hey, 
What's up, Lordo? You know anything about a, a where we could find a guy named Jib, Dr. Giblets? Whoa, 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 where'd you hear that name? You can't just go asking around town for a guy like that. What, why? What, what, what's wrong with asking about Dr. Giblets? I don't know. Why do you think I know anything about Dr. Giblets? I don't know nothing. Now buy something, I'll beat it, buster. Did Blordo seem a little dodgy to you? I swear I feel like he's hiding something. That's right, yeah. Let's come back when we know a little more and see if we can push this guy over the edge. It looks like he's getting killed, and that's actually fantastic news because uh, Jake is part of the religion where he believes that when he died. Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, what's this about, can I ask? Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah, I don't really have any moral issue with accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me, so uh, how about no? Shh, hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. I can't help you, but Blordo can. Mention my name, Michael Taint. Then he'll talk. But no cracks about my name. I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. <laughs> it was a great night. Hey, thanks for asking about my night, pal. It was nice of you. You take an interest in people. That's admirable. Holy shit, wow, you, we actually got something we can use. Okay, woo -hoo. that was an A-rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blordo and mention Michael Taint. Oh, you look like you're hungry for some food. Wink, wink, I can help. Wink, wink, wink. Look, I said I don't know nothing about Dr. Giblets, so leave me alone. Unless you want to buy something, that's different. You can still buy stuff from me, that's totally fine. Piece of shit! I'm gonna kill him! <sighs> Look, if you're really looking for trouble, maybe check out the new High on Life store in the slums. The Hyperbong 6 Midnight Lodge is tonight, but you should be able to get in by now. Just don't mention my name. I didn't say nothing. Now get out of here! If anyone sees me talking to you, I'm dead! Thanks, Blordo. We, we had a good feeling you were a true pal. Whoa! Great sleuthing, detectives! That was an S rank interrogation! Open hey, this is my favorite VIP. Hey, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. So I killed a guy here earlier in my first mission. I don't know if that backfires this time. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on oh, life yeah, store. Hey, hey, yeah. Hopefully the slums uh, are a little more chill now that we took out nine torque. Nobody wants to talk to the broken leg guy. I get it. Hey, you got a peso? It'd be so cool if you could just give me like a hundred pesos. Hey, we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the Torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best. Oh, you're back. Do you need somebody to go with you? Oh shit! It's you. The bounty hunter's back. Everyone, get him! Oh, and they're killing him again. Yes. Oh, I'm in pain. Oh! 
Property values going up around here. High on life has got to be close. High on life. That's how you put high on life. Thank you for bringing me back out. I will never let you down again. I'm so sorry you don't like me very much. What? I did he get that impression?
that this guy brought on her. Suck my little dweebus. More guys! It's so cool that they have so many guys to send. It's annoying to fight them, but it's cool that they have that many guys. Like there's more coming. go we made it to high on life God, they opened this new high on life story. I've been counting down the days. Okay, okay, there's nobody coming. How about things oh, going? I will scream. I can scream real, real, real loud. This is not screaming. Oh, you know I'm always gay. Oh, I just hope they don't make me buy a new adapter. Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut fan. lines. The I rules do not apply to the balls. law. I've got 20 of them already. I'm gonna buy 20 more, trust me. Welcome to High on Life Store number 7923, your local Hyperbong Superstore. Well, 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 I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way, you know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit, that's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Uh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to High on Life. I'm Barrick, uh, I can be a personal uh, High on Life uh, prof professional today. Um, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. 
Oh, oh no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened. So, uh, I only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Me? Oh, no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not to mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Oh, man. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Oh. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Huh? Nah, I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? Oh. I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyper bongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyper bongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Oh man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit, not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end, so let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell Hyperbongs and Hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. What? That hot new species you've been hearing about. High on life Hyperbongs are the only way to get that fix. We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of people which, come, can uh, I interest uh, you in a hyperbolic six? Come here to smoke out more people, right? <laughs> Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Clug Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyper bong? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. I don't need to know what is it. So we are getting that pop out of here. Well, nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate. 
it. Yeah. He's only got one good vet, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's Nothing right. A word to the wise. Yeah. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Holy shit, what the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty oh, sad, right? One moment he was there. Oh, you can go ahead and take his bag boots. It's not a problem. He was a really bad guy. Like, morally, he was very... <laughs> Fucked up. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are gonna be very useful and. Hey, sick moves! You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than those boots ever did. Look at you! I see what you've been doing, and I'm gonna make it one bit. More cartels headed this way! This is what you get from me. You fuckers again. Don't worry, they're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. 
We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim, the Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd, the G3 cartel, or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job, says you're already helping him, says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name I... is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that thing? happen, we had nothing to do with it. We yeah, didn't even mention it. This conversation home. never happened. Yeah, and Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Yes, Clug wants to speak in person. Oh shit, yeah. Let's go see what Clug's been up to. Go to Clug's office. So, you're gonna step through the portal door and go see Clug or what? Oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Oh, enough pleasantries. Let's keep this moving. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Trust me, we're going to blast them to pieces with or without you. But we just hit a dead end. A dead end? Oh, no. We can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what... Might be on it. Got it. That's where Dr. Giblets is. Whoa, whoa. Even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. And then we get to, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. We don't need luck. You're doing great work. Make like it. Thanks for helping our dad. We love our dad, Clug. They're my kids, yeah. Forgot to mention that. <laughs> Good boys, too. Yeah. This is where our dad works. He's a really hard worker. Someday all this will be ours. But not soon. Fuck yeah, let's go well. kill Dr. Giblets. You bet. I'm not kidding. Uh, Dr. Giblets is a bit Honestly, gotta hand it to Clug. He showed us where Giblets is. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. I get up there and kill Giblets. At night, when the mask is off, I look at my face. I may make the world think I'm happy, but I can't hide the truth to myself. Whatever happens, I must go on acting. Jill came tumbling after. Gary Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Gary fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. My map is also not showing. Some uh, food. This is a fire. This is a party. Would you mind 
watching my bike for just a minute. I, I, I Just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. All right, sir, but you better be fast. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Where's my bike? I asked you to watch my bike and you just let someone take it? Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Ugh, chill out. We barely looked away. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You lose my bike and then you walk away. Fuck you. I was about to put some real cool mags on it, make it even cooler, but it was pretty cool already, and you lost it! You bastard! You bitch! Fuck you, bitch! You stupid fucking prick! Get out of here! I'm out of here! You're get out of here! This is my thing! This is my space! Walk away! Walk away, Renee! Walk away! Hey. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill giblets. I'm going यहां से वो जफायर वाला कर सकता हूं यहां पे आके बहुत लोग फंसने वाले हैं तो हम इसलिए मैं बता रहा हूं यहां फंसना नहीं है बस ऐसे ऐसे करने जाए करते जाओगे तो मैं आपको पता नहीं लगेगा फिर हम लोग उसे पाए ओके ये रेडी फॉर ब्लड Welcome to Highway Village. Our currency here is tires, and we sacrifice our younglings to the Lord Asphaltia, High God of Where the Way. Tires. I am your hey, I'm the youngest one left alive. That means they're gonna sacrifice me to Lord. Yeah. Okay, we can go, but please promise me that we'll kill all the next guys we come across. Killing everybody. 
You really love running, huh? Oh, shit. Ugh, we're in poison! Use your last bit of strength to throw me to safety! Thank you. Uh, oh, thank God you picked me! I was scared I'd never get to see you again! Yeah! Up in this bitch! Wait for you, man. You ready, partner? Thank God, thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. Holy shit, dude. You're fucked. What happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. Then it was Dr. Giblet's base. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. No, come on. You're not dead yet. We're still here with you. You'll be fine. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh, just, just don't leave. Okay. Now I feel it. Here I go. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Uh-huh. Yep, that's just how it is in this sick fuck of a universe. He's hey, 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 where, where are you guys going? You you promised me you'd stay with me until I until I die. Oh, I feel it. Oh. Hey, what the Hey, hey, thanks for coming back. You're not really dying, are you? <laughs> Rest in peace, fucko. Okay, giblets, you sick fuck. Come on out. Where are you? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Fine, let's just get this shit over with. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died. But it's great for us detectives because we need a good mystery to solve. Looks like your typical work desk. Nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is... Someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing experiments? I don't know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall here. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. 
Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there. That's what they're used for. That's what drones are for. They're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. He better be there. Uh, oh, shit. Sorry. Wrong bit. Wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's got to be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. Oh, really? Is that what we're supposed to do? Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms, but we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Was he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up, I know it's fucked up, I don't know why I asked, I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. All right, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door. Is this the next door? I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Dibbles was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do, so... A Gatlian's in there? Oh, no, they look like shit. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's going to happen? Uh, who knows? Let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. So you wasted our fucking time, Pseudo! Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets! Tell you that you're literally my best friend. Thank you. 
Hey, this is nice. In the end, Dr. Giblets took the easy way out. A little disappointing because I was looking forward to a find. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. What the fuck? If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come, and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. Another ambush. That's detective life for you. So many ambushes. Everyone called me crazy. Look at me now! I'm dead and you're trapped in here, fallen prey to my glorious science you were ever so jealous of! That's right, Crimothy! I know it was you. But you were so calibrated. For what? The inheritance? My lab? Or just a plain old space edifice complex? No matter! Just as you have no qualms about killing your own I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn! Farewell, Crimothy Giblets! Let's fucking go! It means you just killed an enemy. have anything to say about it. I just wanted to cover all my bases here. Good work using the jetpack. But it won't be enough. Oh, is that all? Hmm. If you're hearing this, it means you made it past my first onslaught. Perhaps you aren't my son, Crimothy. Yes. Yes, I was wrong. How could I have been so blind? I know who killed me now. It was you, Karubis! Didn't he know we were coming? Jay, Clarice! I kind of respect how many messages he had to record. Karubis, 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 always complaining about being the lowest rank of the G3. You thought you could kill me and just my spot in the G3. Well, think again. Well, you did kill me, actually. I'm back with analogies.
you must be someone else. But who is it? Who killed me? Was it you, Douglas? You never told me your last name! Did the whole G3 eat this guy? You always were unpredictable. Your relentless party habits always landed you in hot water with Garmantuas. Perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing his prize scientist, me! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! It was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me. To get back those photographs. Well, too bad. I had rigged my computer to boost the right My heart stopped beating. But don't worry. So everyone will think it's cool. Douglas, how does it feel having the very troops you trained turn against you? Attempting to kill their own mentor. How poetic to die at the hands of your own students. Remember how badly you tortured them, you know. And they can't wait to get payback. Sure, we haven't even fought him, right? Nipulon, you've been here from the start. Garmantuous is favorite right-hand man. You always hated the attention he gave me. You wanted them all for yourself. I always knew I could get you. I can't imagine the things you're capable of. How are you faring, Nippy? Still holding in there? I knew you'd be tough. It's one thing to serve in the G3, but it's another altogether to fully embody its ideology. I really did respect you when I was alive, but then you killed me. So it pains me, but I still can't get you back. You're a tough one, Nippulot. I'm throwing Later in time, bring up base to self destruct. Bring up base to self destruct. Bring up base. Okay. You're dead meat, If you're still alive, 
wife to hear this, then I made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. There we go. The dumbass finally got it. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Yeesh. Way to kill the mood. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Well, that was fun. We can get back out through the trap door. Let's scram. But he might be a goner. Let's take him to Gene and see if he can help. Not gonna let me take a break, huh? I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Great, he can't see you. Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. Uh, Let it go! Come on over, let's bow wow! And you we uh, at night when the mask is off, I look at myself. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh shit! That's great. I I, I I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's he's not really functional. I don't I don't I don't, I don't think he's dead. But oh, god damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. It would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix it. Okay. Th thanks, Gene. Well, you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your belly real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right. Which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? All right. Here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh... I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. 
so we are going to Apple B. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away.